Do you wake up in the morning, jaws feeling tired, headaches on one side of your head or the other? Maybe your TMJ joints are a little sore, or worse yet, you're biting through your bite guard, or two, or three. I bet your dentist is a little perplexed as to how to solve that problem for you. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a simple strategy that you can use to stop that biting down and grinding your teeth at night while you're sleeping, and for some of you, even in the daytime. So stay tuned for this simple strategy. Welcome back to the Muscle Repair Shop. My name is Butch Phelps and today we're going to talk about grinding our teeth. Now for many of you, grinding your teeth may happen mainly while you're sleeping at night. Some of you have probably damaged the enamel on your teeth. If you're lucky, you've gone to a dentist and wound up getting a bite guard. But unfortunately, even with the bite guard, you tend to bite your way through that bite guard. This can lead to headaches on the side of your head sore TMJ joints here, or just the feeling of fatigue in your jaws every day. There is a simple way of solving this problem, but first I want to talk about the why. Why do people grind their teeth? In many cases, what I found is that these are people who are in constant thought. Maybe they're stressed about something. Maybe they're working on a project. Maybe they're just just thinking about anything in general and then automatic habit is is to clench their teeth especially if it's an emotional issue so in the evening while you're sleeping as you go through dreams and your mind is processing the things that you did through the day that emotion still comes back up even though you are sleeping and so what happens is that you start to clench and grind your teeth as you're going through that thought now everybody has kind of different habits of as they are thinking about certain things. We, the most famous one, of course, is Michael Jordan with his tongue hanging out as he's playing basketball and he's really focused on his game. But for many of us, when we're in deep thought about something, especially if there's a little bit of stress involved, we will clench our teeth. I've seen people driving their car and clench their teeth as they're doing it along with their hands. But there are simple things that you can do throughout your day and even before you go to bed at night that can solve that. So the first thing I would do is number one, number one understand that on each side of your jaw here and about here are two muscles. They're probably about an inch wide that are called masseters and they attach to the cheekbone and down into the jawbone, which is the mandible down here. And of course, as you're talking and as you're chewing things, this is compressing up and down, up and down. Now, for those of you who grind your teeth, when you feel your cheeks in here, instead of feeling anything that's soft, it can feel really hard and rigid. And in fact, if you put a little pressure there with your thumb, as I'm doing right here, it can actually feel painful when you do that. So every evening before you go to bed at night, I would take about five minutes and I would start to work this part of my face on each side. Now, with these muscles, the striations are running up and down or north and south. Take your thumb and you want to run east and west down this, this muscle all the way from the cheekbone down to the jawbone. You can do this with your mouth open and also closed. In fact, I would suggest probably doing it both ways and make sure that as you go through this, probably two to three times like this, then follow it up and coming straight down, north and south to flush this out. Now, when you're doing this, don't dig in deep with your fingers because you could bruise the skin here, and of course that'll be sore the next day. But as you're coming across, breathe out and relax your face and relax your body and, and only press hard enough that A, you can feel just a little discomfort, but not so much that you can't breathe. And what you will find is that as you go through this the second and the third time, you probably can go a little deeper than you did the first time without a whole lot of pain in there. If you create this where you're pressing hard and you're creating a lot of pain, what's gonna happen is your brain will contract a muscle here 
and you're really doing nothing at that point. And be sure to do both sides. Now, when you're looking at soreness in the TMJ joint up here, there are muscles on the outside and muscles on the inside of that joint. And if you take your finger and run back inside of your mouth up to that joint, you can feel those muscles and they'll feel like little puffy uh, things that are stuck right on the inside of that joint and the outside of that joint. Again, don't do what most people do. Press really hard. If you do that, it's going to really hurt. What you want to do is press just hard enough that you can feel the pressure, but light enough that you can still breathe. And as you press and you're breathing out and relaxing your face and your jaw, what will happen is those little puffy muscles will start to smooth out. That takes the pressure off the joint so that you don't wear that joint out later in life. So again, let's recap that. You're going to first work on the outside with the muscle running this way. So you're going to come across three times east to west, and then a couple of times north and south. And each time that you come across, you're going to breathe out as you come across to allow the jaw to relax. When you go to the inside, you're going to take your finger back to your TMJ joint here, and you're going to work on those little puffy muscles on the inside and also on the outside. So you'll come from the inside and also do the outside. And as you get there, press just enough that you can feel it, but not so much that you can't breathe. Breathe out and let those muscles relax. The final step with this is to work on the muscles on the side of your head. Now, for most of you, when you go and have your hair cut and they give you a hair shampoo, it feels so good when someone's rubbing the side of your head like that. And the reason for that is that the muscle here interacts with the muscles here, allowing the jaw to move up and down as you're talking, as you're eating, and so forth. And so this muscle up here on both sides will get tight. When you do that, use the tips of your fingers and just gently press in along the side like that. Again, press in hard enough you can feel it, but light enough that you can still breathe. And as you press in, breathe out and allow the side of your head to relax. Now, all this should probably take you five, 10 minutes max. You can do it in the daytime. And, and for some of you who are busy running around in the daytime and you get a moment here or there, you can do it in the daytime, it's, it's fine as well. But I have found that with people who grind their teeth at night and typically bite through their bite guards at night, if they do these in the evening before they go to bed, there's been great success with this. In fact, I worked with an oral surgeon uh, for a couple of years and I started putting this together for people, helping them out, and we had great success with that happening. If you like this video and you think it can help some other people, make sure that you subscribe down below, ring the bell, like it, and share it with your friends. But for now, see ya.